pictured here is Caravaggio's The Incredulity of St. Thomas. Beautiful painting that helps us to think about what the Gospels tell us. A picture is worth a thousand words. It would take me a thousand words to express all that this painting conveys about this moment from the Gospel. There are few moments in the Gospel where we know when something happened uh, precisely. Like We don't know what date Christ gave the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, we don't know uh, what date Christ called James and John to follow him, right? These things that we hear about in the Gospels, we don't always know precisely when they happened. But this event, we know precisely when it happened. It happened on the eighth day, a week after the resurrection. And so last Sunday, this was read in churches throughout the world, as it has been for thousands of years. And I'm sure that on the first anniversary of its occurrence, St. Thomas was thinking back to what happened to him a year ago on that day. And so this is something that the church has done since the resurrection. Think about this passage uh, about St. Thomas seeing the risen Lord on the Sunday after Easter Sunday. So I'll read that from the Gospel of John and say a word about it. Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with the other disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Christ resurrected from the dead in the flesh invites Thomas to place his finger in his open, his wounded side. That moment that we hear in the gospel passage, it's a few words, right? and then the, the gospel moves on. But what was that like? Can you imagine being St. Thomas in this picture? right? Can you imagine that Christ resurrected from the dead appears to you with his glorious wounds, right? He, he's got a, a hole in his side, but it's not bleeding, uh, and it's not just, you know, it's not scabbed over. It doesn't look like he's been, he's been uh, in the midst of recovery from an injury. Right? It's, something, it's something different. His glorified, resurrected body shows the wounds that he procured as he procured our salvation. And yet, something, something invites us to faith in the way that Christ appears. And so, <laughs> St. Thomas, I love this, I love Caravaggio's depiction here in the incredulity of St. Thomas, this painting, where you see Christ's hand is like, grabbing Thomas's hand and, and okay, Thomas here, whoo, moving it into his own open side that was pierced with the lance. What, what was that moment like for St. Thomas? Have you ever had an experience where you wanted God to, to demonstrate to you something that would help your faith? What do you think it would be like to be like St. Thomas and, and to say, I will not believe unless I can place my finger in the nail marks, place my hand in his side, and then to have that happen. And then to have Christ invite you to have this experience. You see the other disciples looking on 
at, 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 at what at what Thomas is doing at at the way our Lord is showing that he is not a ghost but flesh and blood right that they too share in this wonderment amazement this is a great picture to spend some time with to put ourselves in the place of the disciples and to ask Christ to give us the gift of faith in greater measure in greater measure as he gave it to St. Thomas.